And just super briefly, uh, since we're uh, in, in the sake of time, I wanted to give just a quick update on our work uh, on generative artificial intelligence. Um, opportunities and challenges. We've been focusing on this area a lot at the OECD, um, and we really find that there's immense promise uh, for revolutionizing many different industries and solving complex problems. And generative AI's ability to create realistic digital content without human inventor intervention or little human intervention is already being used in many fields to improve efficiency, deliver personalized content, um, and increasingly uh, to automate uh, tas tasks like we've been hearing about the last few days with AutoGPT. Um, but there are also a lot of challenges. Uh, so it has the potential, uh, potential negative consequences in areas of disinformation, fake news, deep fakes, uh, other manipulated content. Um, and it can have significant social, political, and economic consequences at scale, um, which we haven't fully grappled with yet, uh, such as fueling conspiracy theories, misleading public discourse and opinion, or influencing elections and, and markets. Uh, and in some cases, uh, we've seen inciting violence. So there are tremendous benefits, but there's also a lot of challenges that we need to think through. Uh, and and we're, we're doing that at the OECD. For example, just a few days ago, we launched a new paper on AI language models called Technological, Socioeconomic, and Policy Considerations that really unpacks a lot of these issues uh, and puts things through the lens of the OECD AI principles uh, and includes a focus on the different risks and ethical questions and open debates currently posed by language models. Um, one of the other findings is that governments are increasingly demanding uh, the enablement of, of generative AI through policies and different strategies uh, while also mitigating the risks. Probably the biggest trend we've really seen in these strategies and policies recently is actually a focus on non-English language and, and strategies to um, uh, protect small languages and then also uh, use non-English languages in, in, in other contexts as, uh, to kind of overcome this English bias that we have in, in a lot of models. Um, but there's also a lot of questions being raised about how ensuring these models can be beneficial and inclusive and safe. Um, briefly, we, we already touched on the risks, but what the report found was uh, that what we really need to be looking into is quality control and standards, paths to accountability, and determining responsible actors for AI training and outputs, continued dialogue and research, including at the international level, as we are doing here today, uh, innovative approaches <laughs> to, to countering mis and disinformation. There's not a silver bullet, bullet. there's a, a solution space emerging, but we, we don't really have anything that is super concrete. Uh, and preparing for economic transitions and a lot more multi-stakeholder dialogue and collaboration. We're not focused only on language models, but that is what we've put out so far. We're increasingly, of course, interested in image, gen image generation progressing rapidly. You can see tremendous change just from 2014 and 2015 to what we can do today or, or even last year, or who knows what we'll be able to do in, next year. Um, we're looking into that now and, and have a draft paper that we're currently working on that will touch on those issues, as well as increasingly video. Like here you can see uh, incredibly realistic video that can be created now where uh, Lucasfilm hired a, a YouTube uh, deepfake maker uh, to help with their uh, help with the Mandalorian and bringing a, a young Skywalker kind of back to the stage. Um, it's almost impossible to tell the difference, and, and in some cases, it, it kind of uh, looks a bit better or more refined than and what a photo or a film might look like. Um, potential paths being explored: regulation, transparency in models, ethical frameworks, and implementing actions behind them. Technological standardization, risk frameworks, and strategic foresight to further political discussion.